This isn't where the Malave family thought they'd end up living when they arrived in central Florida. Like thousands of others here, they're crammed into a single hotel room, living week to week. It's been like this for several months now, but despite the hardships, they're determined to make a new life in the U.S. We stay here, we fight here, we're going to be here and keep trying until, you know, she's expecting for December. So hopefully we can get something before December. It's going to be tough, five people, two be one bed and a crib. The Malave story is a familiar one to Pastor Dana Camacho, who's been helping Puerto Rican families in the area for years. She set up this cafe inside a hotel to help feed new arrivals, but says the reality for many is bleak. So you're thinking, okay, well, since it can't get any worse, this has to be better. And you come here with that in your mind, it has to be better. And you're just waiting for that moment where it's going to turn and it is going to be better, but it actually just never happens. The numbers of Puerto Ricans who are U.S. citizens by birth leaving the island is expected to keep growing. The figures now rival the so-called Great Migration following the Second World War. But in Florida, there's concern about the effects of homelessness and instability on newly arrived children. Imagine a child. A child wants to feel beloved and feel that they belong. And if they are constantly in a new environment, uh, they are struggling with that. Throughout this entire region, hotels and motels are full of Puerto Rican families waiting to start their new lives. But the problem is that these rooms aren't cheap, and that means people can't save up enough money to move out. And the waiting list for government housing in the area is already approaching two years. Community leaders are now offering workshops for families they say are ill-prepared for the realities of life in Florida. Despite the risks, though, many believe their children have a brighter future here than in Puerto Rico. Andy Gallagher, Al Jazeera, Kissimmee, Central Florida.